Okay, let's look at part A, question number two of the combined mathematics 2024 level paper. Right, so this is the graphing question. So we have to graph y equals modulus x minus 3 plus 1 and y equals 5 minus modulus x on the same set of axes as first. Then find the area of the rectangle bounded by these curves. So first we will draw the graphs. Right. So first we will look at modulus x minus 3 plus 1. So this is what? This means 3 units right and this plus 1 means 1 unit up. So we know the original shape of the modulus graph is what v-shape with vertex at 0, 0. Now the vertex has moved 3 units to the right and then gone up by 1 unit. So the new vertex is here 3 comma 1 and the y-intercept is what? x equals 0, substitute x equals 0, so y-intercept is 4. For this curve so 1 2 3 4 right so that is our first curve y equals modulus x minus 3 plus 1 and this is the positive gradient no this is the positive gradient one so this line has to be x minus 3 plus 1 or x minus 2 this is the negative gradient line so that is going to be y equals negative x minus 3 plus 1 or y equals negative x plus 4 right so that curve is done now let's look at the next one next curve is that we need to draw is y equals phi minus modulus x o y equals mod minus modulus x plus 5. So this minus sign means reflect along x axis. This plus 5 means go up by 5 units. Right. So first we have to reflect the v shape along x axis. So then you get downward v. Then shift that up by 5 units. So the new vertex is where? At here. 0, 5. And they have they have to be parallel to these blue lines. The red lines have to be parallel to the corresponding blue lines because they have the same type of gradients. Right. So this one is what? This one is y uh, the negative gradient. So y equals phi minus x. This one is the positive gradient, so this is y equals 5 plus 6, right. So the graph is done, then we are supposed to find the area bounded by, so the rectangle of the area bounded by these curves. So this point, this point, this point and this point. So let's give them names A, B, C, D. We want the area of A, B, C, D rectangle so a is what we know a is uh, 3 comma 1 c also we know 0 comma 5 if we find b or d we can find length a b and the width of the rectangle b c so right so we'll do that we'll find b point so to find b point b point is the intersection between y equals x minus 2 line and y equals phi minus x so we will equal them x minus 2 equals phi minus x so then 2x equals 7 so x equals 3.5 then substitute that into here so y equals 1.5 right 
so we found b point so let's mark that 3.5 comma 1.5 right now let's find the two lengths a b and b c and we are done we just need to find the area using those two lengths so length a b is what a b is 3.5 minus 3 squared so that is half squared plus 1.5 minus 1 that is again half so half squared so this is going to be half times square root 2 that is length a b then we will find length b c length b c is what 0 minus 3.5 so 3.5 squared plus 5 minus 1.5 so again 3.5 squared so this gives you 3.5 square root 2 or 7 over 2 square root 2 then we have to use the area formula for rectangle to find the area area of a b c d is what length a b times length b c right so square root 2 square root 2 becomes 2 so one of the two cancel and we are left with two, two. this one and this one and this one cancel so 7 over 2 so the area of this rectangle is 7 over 2 square units right so that is the answer for question number 2 of the part a right next we will look at question number 3